Save the monarch butterfly. Save the monarch butterfly. Save the monarch butterfly. Save the monarch butterfly from extinction. From extinction. From extinction. They fly north and south, Mexico, America, and Canada. Then in winter they return to congregate in Mexico. Butterflies by the millions, butterflies by the trillions on trees so grand and old. Way down in Mexico, the loggers rape the land, clear cutting the monarch butterfly tree, destroying the virgin forest. No monarchs flying no horse anymore. Save the monarch butterflies, save the monarch butterflies, save the monarch. Butterflies save the monarch butterflies from extinction, from extinction, from extinction. The name of that song obviously is Save the Monarch Butterflies. The monarch butterflies are being killed and destroyed by the millions and by the trillions by loggers who are raping and destroying their winter sanctuaries in Mexico. The situation with the monarch butterflies in Mexico is very critical. Even though there have been preserves set aside for the monarch butterflies, vast areas have actually been set aside for the monarch butterflies. The loggers do not obey the rules and ignore the fact that these vast areas of forests have been declared preserves. And as a result, they're going in and they're cutting down these large areas of forest where for millions and millions of years the monarch butterflies have have migrated and have congregated to overwinter. The typical life cycle of the monarch butterfly involves a long migration where every spring when it becomes warm these monarch butterflies they fly north and along the way they deposit their eggs on milkweed plants and new generations of monarchs occur and then they fly north and they lay more eggs and they, they migrate all the way from Mexico to Canada. And then in the fall, new generations begin to return. They have genetically encoded in their DNA program which enables them to migrate. And this, this program is transferred genetically from generation to generation. So every every fall, the young which emerge, the new butterflies, they migrate back to Mexico and they congregate in on butterfly trees down in Mexico by millions and by trillions. And these are the only places where they can survive from generation to generation. They have to overwinter on these butterfly trees. And even though there are butterfly trees uh, in some places in, in California, uh, around San Simeon and other areas along the coast where some butterflies in limited numbers may overwinter, the very vast majority of butterflies, their sanctuaries are in Mexico. And the greedy, greedy, greedy loggers are going in there and they're cutting down these forests which have been set aside as preserves. And they've even done very terrible things like go in and spray to kill the butterflies so that people can cannot say, oh, these forests have to be preserved for the butterflies. So by the logic that these, these uh, loggers have, they say, well, if there are no monarchs, 
then why save the forest for the monarchs? Because there won't be any monarchs left around. So they just they 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 send out that they go out down these logging roads and they spray all the monarchs. They kill all the monarchs. This has been going on for years. Uh, it's been going on for years and years. And even though the government has set aside these preserves, the, there are still loggers which go in illegally. They're going in illegally. This is illegal for them to be doing. They're going in illegally and they're cutting down these sanctuary areas. And they know exactly what they're doing. They know that these are preserves. They know that these are sanctuaries. But they're going in anyway and they're, and they're logging these areas and destroying the habitat which is necessary for the monarchs to survive. The monarch, this phenomenon of the monarchs, this is a world treasure. The monarch butterflies belong to humanity. This involves all of humanity. When the monarchs are gone, they won't be anymore. This is one of the great miracles of life. This is a natural wonder beyond all comparison. And even though many people have not witnessed and seen this, it remains one of the greatest national uh, wonders and miracles of nature that there is. And the, these loggers, they should be rounded up, they should be thrown in jail. We need to stop this illegal logging and destruction of habitat of the monarch butterflies. This is a rape of nature. This is a destruction of the, natu the natural environment which affects all humanity. It affects the United States of America and all of our people and all of our children because monarch butterflies are beautiful natural wonders. They migrate and they add beauty and they're, and they're necessary for the pollination of flowers. We need to protect those beneficial species which pollinate plants and which help in pollination because once they're gone once we if we destroy the the butterflies which pollinate flowers this is going to have a great impact a great impact and it's going to contribute to the destruction of all of nature. So this is a critical issue. Saving the monarchs is a critical issue. And we need to urge that action be taken by our government through officials in Mexico to round up these illegal loggers and throw them in prison. Get them out of the way. These Illegal loggers, something needs to be done to stop this. There need to, we need to be funding efforts in America to stop the lo illegal logging down in Mexico. There is plenty of land in Mexico where trees can be planted and trees can be raised and where the logging industry can be supported without having to go in and clear-cut vast areas which have been set aside as preserves for the preservation of monarch butterflies. This is like going in and logging in national forests. And it's a rape of nature. It's a, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible sin against God itself. Uh, this, this, this is so terrible what is being done. It, it is just, it's just awful. And I want to urge that everyone take time to look at this situation, that our political leaders take time to look at this situation, and that we, we take action to preserve the monarch butterflies, that we let it be known that we want preservation of this great natural wonder. We want preservation of the monarch butterflies. So everybody, peace out. Take care. Save the monarch butterflies.